Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Rando! Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizers tonight. Open mode, normal difficulty, and with whatever handful of minor glitches I can throw in here, which isn't a whole bunch, a few bomb jumps and shit like that, but not really well versed in anything beyond that. But let's see if we can give it a good old go tonight, huh? We've got to beat Buck 3749, which will rely a lot on RNG more than my execution, but hey, I would be okay with just about anything we could get. That would be sub two. Let's give it a go in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Old bomb cap upgrade right away, which is fucking worthless. But that's all right. Usually don't rely on the very first chest to hold anything of value. And a good, good, some good tunes to start off here. This is the perfect overworld music. Excuse me. Man, that right hand blue guard really eats it, doesn't he? Oh, nice tree pole. Holy shit. Visity bams right out the gate. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see what Uncle's come back from the uh, strip club with. What's he got in his pockets? Oh, three hundo, damn! Fucking scam the casino out of something. And now it's ours. He won't miss it. It's fine. Oh, and then Samaria. Holy shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is one heck of an opening fucking item. And the church has got nothing but bams, but that's alright. Woo! Damn, son. You are stocked and ready for Kakariko, I tell you what. Seven bombs, three hundo rupees. Well, three hundo and one, I guess. What did we get that from? From killing a guard or something? Wouldn't say no to doing one more tree pull. Got a full stack of bams here. But I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Go boom. And then... Oh wait, we've got... That's right, I forgot we picked up that early bomb cap so we can get 11. Nice. It's the crab drop today, is some arrows, alright, whatever. Check out the good old lumberjack cave egg and one not required, please, 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 oh, it's a piece of candy. Alright, good. Good sign, good sign, good sign. Not a guarantee that egg won't be required. Egg one won't be required, but... It's a good old start. This bird wants a piece of me. He ain't gonna get it, though. Fuck off, bird. We got... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit, son. The hook shot. Oh, my goodness. That is something. That is a killer something to be starting off with. Whew! Piece of candy there, all right. Goodness, goodness me. We got our explosives, we got our hook shot. Go hit up the village, have ourselves a good old time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, Ron Clee, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, three minutes to Kakariko with a nice set of bombs, a hook shot in tow, and a potential to get so much more. RNG has already been massively kind to us. So you never quite quite know what'll happen here. Well, let's see what we can pull off here. A big old twenty, thanks. Bomb cap, all right, whatever. More busy bams, and another big old twenty. All right. <laughs> Well, that sucks. <laughs> what we got there? Oh, bug net, all right. You know, that's, that's a good safety item for later on, I suppose. <laughs> bombs and rupees, right. Well, well, early bombs is fine. It's, they're useful, and I'd rather not go out of my way to go buy them or farm them up or something, so... I guess I can't say I'm... Extremely disappointed. Piece of candy, alright. Well, that's a little bit more disappointing, but okay. 
But hey, I, I, I guess early early health is pretty good too. Big old 20, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Dang it. What we got there? Oh, baby's first shield, okay. Another bomb cap. And another big 20. Alright, well, a little disappointing. A little disappointing there, but that's alright. Let's see what the bottle vendor has got for us. 100 groups to get 20 back. You ass. What a shitty investment. Down 80%. Chicken clip? Ah, no chicken clip. We were badly aligned. Ah, another 50. Alright, well, we. good news is we've almost got Zora money. Over 80% there. Bad news is no flute and no bottle. Makes me unhappy. That's right. Oh, a glove, though. Nice. No glove, no love. But we have a glove, so therefore, we have some love. So that's good. That gets us up to Death Mountain if we want to brave the dark rooms on the way. I'm not sure that we quite want to break sequence. Arrow cap in library, so I don't care. Check out race game real quick, like, and then probably S and Q out to house hit the south shore. Moon Pearl. All right, we'll go back for that. <laughs> All right, this is rapidly becoming Ega One not required, and I like that. That's real nice. We just require a hammer or the second glove for Dark World access. Not very often that I see something of value at race game. I'm okay with it being Moon Pearl. Great job, you can have this trash. It's not trash. Moon Pearl is not trash, you fuck. That's real nice. That is a real nice pickup early on. I mean, it's not immediately useful right now, but hell. I'll take it for when we get other cool shit going on. Oh, if we're really good with this, we can pull off the whole one-two hookshot dealio here. Eh? Yeah. Piece of candy. We don't have to go back in. I mean, I say it like it's a hard trick to pull off, and it really isn't, but you do need to pay attention to do it. Oh, powder. That's got to be some wet-ass powder now. Powder is a good safety item as well. Gets us some fairies. Ow, what a snipe. Ouch! Ooh, man. On their mustard with that stuff. Oh. Oh, oh. Mini Moldorm's being a little shitty. There we go. Didn't even drop anything cool. Big old 20, piece of candy. Fiver, thanks bro. Another hard container, okay. It's 10 arrows. Alright, well, not the best. It's certainly not the most favoritist of stuff to get. But whatever, it's fine. Oof, it's bird. So now, this is interesting, with Moon Pearl we have access to Waterfall of Wishing, if we do Fake Clippers or Water Walk. Not sure I want to go up there yet, though. Fuck you, crab. Ice Rod Cave out of the way. Oh, Busy Bambos. Interesting. 
Okay. Takes care of one of the medallions. Uh, let's do front side escape. Front side escape, probably back side escape. We could try to do uh, the dark room on the way through. We could try it. If memory serves, it's not that difficult to do, but... Never quite can tell whether I'm actually good or whether I'm just faking being good. So we'll give it a go. If we if we get that if we get far enough, we'll give it a go. Um, means probably a death warp setup, I would guess, right? Probably be the fastest way to go about it. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. Then we can do front side and back side escape right away. Although. Although maybe S and Q out to Sanctuary would be faster than going through the rest. Uh, okay, good. I was about to say, do I have any <laughs> any weapons that I can use to do this? And I do have some bombs. Okay, this this works. This works. It's not going to be pretty, but this works. I suppose I do also have Samaria, but I don't have any magic to use it. So I was a a big dummy and didn't pick some up when I go went to check uncle. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, uh, he better, he better just stay there. Good fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, just one. Oh, dang it. Alright. Oh, you fuck. All right, that was a bad use of bombs there. That's okay. That's okay. We got one left. <laughs> we got one left that we need for uh, the backside here. Also, got to remember to set up for death warp. Don't fuck this up now. Two, three. Freeze that dude one more time, perhaps. Thank you. Okay. Big old 20 there. All right, death warp time. Excuse me, fucker. You poke me a bit. Thank you. All right, now I think we get, what, four hearts for the death warp, right? Yeah, okay, that'll work. Now, the big problem with this is trying to navigate. I'm gonna have to remember what the layout of these rooms is and where the chest is, so... All right, let's find out where I am. There we go. There we go, okay, found the, <laughs> found the stairs. All right, I think we're, okay. Uh, excuse me. Oh, we found a- oh, Jesus Christ. Ouch! Okay, I think we're through to the next- Okay, uh, wait, where the fuck am I? I have no idea where I am. Do I have- You know what? Fuck it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was like, looking for the stairs! Alright, uh, where are we at here? Oh, this might actually be a good time for this. <laughs> nice, okay. Trying to find where the fuck the chest is. Where is it? Oh, I think I found it. Ah, oh, dang it, I died. Ah, shit! <laughs> I don't know what I got hit by. Probably a, either a snake or a rat. All right, fuck it. We tried it, we tried it. Didn't go so well, but we tried it. At least now we can just do the backside right away since we don't have to worry too much. We could try to do... 
We can try to hit the chest from the backside, actually, since we've got the, the key to get there. Just don't relish the thought of going in reverse here. <laughs> Set. Yeah, I don't think so. Not with the number of items that we've got already. This is not a reset situation. Be in a bottle. Flippers. And a sword. Oh my goodness, that is some fucking high-class garbage right there. Okay. You know what? That is fine. Yeah, I wasn't going to try to do the dark room again. We'll just kind of... We'll let it ride for a bit. Pretty early sword. 15 minutes in, we got a first sword. We'll go with it. Since we got a bottle, we'll hit Sick Kid. We've now got flippers. Which means we're almost... Ooh, we almost have Zora money. That's probably our next play since that gets us up to four items. And then we can hit Sahash for another three and maybe dip into Eastern. For another three is uh, there as well. Mushroom. Another fucking fetch quest. <laughs> oh, what an ass. Alright, uh... Zora time. Well, hmm. Ah, uh, no. I kind of do want to check, um... I'll check Hobo first as well. thinking we might swing by and deposit the mushrooms since we got that fairly early, but go south of the southern route first. Island holds a big old 20. We don't give a shit about that. We could hit uh, the mushroom drop off on the way back, I suppose. All right, hobo, hammer. Ow, oh, a single rupee! What a shit! Come on, you couldn't even give me a big twenty to give me enough for Zora? No, of course not. What an ass! One dollar. I mean, I guess that explains why he's living under a bridge. Got no money to pay the man. Get in there, please. Oh my god, it's so slidey. <laughs> Give you a high five to extend your charity. Well, that's very generous. That's very generous. Alright, so Hobo was a bust. Oh, blue mail, nice. And an arrow cap. Ah, shit, I don't have enough money for Zora now. Uh... This could be a problem. Ah, and the, the fucking... Dang it. Ah, oh, this is really bad. Alright. I suppose we can go up and check the ledge. At the very least, we can go check the ledge. Ten rupees shy, though. Ah, hey, look at that. <laughs> well, this is going to be the most circuitous Zora check I've ever seen. We'll drop down, get the big 20, and then go back around and see what King Ripoff has got for us. Bunch of garbage. Oh wow, what a snipe. Such a dumb route. <laughs> Such a dumb route for 20 rupees. My goodness. Alright, well now we gotta go back out and around. Is 
This better be worth something. If it's like a fiver or a big 20 or something, you know how pissed I'm gonna be? Maybe not that pissed, but kind of pissed. All right, you fuck. Give me something of value, please. Eh? Ah, damn it! Ah, that's not worth shit, man. Oh wait, we don't want to SMP. We want to go back. Drop off the mushroom. What a shit. All that for a gosh dang piece of candy. Not our best route choice, certainly. <laughs> yeah, the sword upgrade would have been real nice, wouldn't it? That would have been worth the route. Would have been worth the time going back and forth, but such as it is, no dice. We haven't done a map check yet. What do we got here? Crystal, crystal pendant. Also not ideal. I would have preferred Eastern having a crystal of some description. Whether a 5-6 or a normal. garbage. Uh, just walk around probably faster this way anyways. So that leaves Sahash as having the lion's share of items that we can get to now, besides Eastern itself. Good thing we've got the singular bomb we need for this. That would have been embarrassing, go in there with no bombs. No bombs, no boots to open the old man's back room here. Alright, old man, what you got for us? Ten arrows. Uh, another shield. And the mitts! There we go. Dark World access achieved. You know, we're gonna take a quick dip into Eastern anyways, see what we got. Excellent. Well, now the world opens up for us just a teeny tiny bit. I think. Uh, oh, I didn't mark Moon Pearl. I was like wondering why this shit isn't lighting up for me. There we go. items here. Anything would really be good. Oh, good, a burrito. Thanks. I was hungry. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. But, the good news is we can quick check this item, too. We don't need to go up and around. Took a shot across. Oh good, the two bullshit things right away, which mean Armos, Armos will have the final item. God damn it. But the other bit of good news is I finally learned how to do this fucking skeleton room trick. The thing I was doing before was grabbing the center pot, which apparently is a a no-no. Oh, uh, okay. 
looks like they appear anyways. Thanks, fuckos. What the hell? If I'm stepping the wrong way. Well, shit. It's candy. All right, well, then we're looking at the last chest that we can get here being the big key, and then well, the big chest will have the second item. Remains to be seen whether it's gonna be worth it. it. I guess it's technically out of logic since I should need the lamp for this, but we'll muddle our way through. <laughs> waiting for the fucking waiting for the screen transition to tell me I did it and the key expected on this being something of value. Shit. <laughs> well, that's dumb. Uh, let's see. Probably Dark World, I guess. Dark World, vid Village of Outcasts, Thieves Town. Perhaps a dip real quick into Skull Woods. Depending on how we're feeling. Good news being that we can go straight for the warp. We don't have to curve around since we do not have the hammer. Mm. So what are we feeling here? Are we feeling a, a quick dip in the Skull Woods? I think we are. Two items at best. And actually we haven't even checked if it's a crystal. It is. Five six or the other pendants are pod, which is green, and T rock. Red. Good news is the Thieves Town is a crystal this go around. It's a very easy early crystal for us. Ugh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, fuck. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> mm. They've been a poor choice. Oh, dang it. Those guys don't get frozen by that, huh? Yeah, shit. Uh huh. <laughs> that was very close. The gold twenty. I don't have the big key, do I? Nope. But I do have Samaria. So honestly, the check for this other item isn't gonna be too bad. Oh, I did that last week too, didn't I? I ate it on that dude. All right, well that sucks. <laughs> That's a waste of time, a little bit. Could have just gone right back in and death warped to get a, a bit of a refill, but nope, nope. Now we gotta walk our assholes back over there, go back into Dark World. Ugh. Not good. That was that was that was very poorly executed. Ah, well. He's hoping that other item in Skull Woods is either locked behind Fire Rod or is of so little value that I don't even want to go back for it. 
Ooh, we don't have enough money for chest game, do we? Isn't that like 80 rupees or something like that? Hmm. Or maybe it's 50. I think the digging game is 80. Check Bumper Cave real quick just to make sure. It is an arrow cap. around Dark World of Six Hearts is a bit of a problem. Now seven? Oh, Well, I hope uh, chest game isn't any more than 60 roops. <laughs> oh, it's only 30. All right. Well, okay, that's a good fill up at the very least. Just one more to deal with going into Thieves Town. Ow. Oh, we don't have the hammer, though, which makes me a little worried. You're leaving one item in Thieves Town as well. As expected, sort of. And piece of candy. All right. Well, <laughs> again, not ideal, but hey, we'll take it. Oh, oh, we could go up to Death Mountain. I forgot I had the hook shot so early. We could go up to Death Mountain after this. Brave the dark room. Get us a whole butt ton of items. Kind of break sequence a little bit, so it's pretty much guaranteed lamp isn't going to be up there. Unless, for some reason, we find flute in here. Which would be super awesome. I'd be okay with that. Shit, I don't have any bombs. Oh wait, they give us some in this room, that's right. Under the skulls here. I hope. I think. Ouch. Ah, crap, so that last item is gonna be in the big chest. That's not good. Fuck. Well. Making a few gambles here, but that's alright. What would Rando be without some gambles? Also, I probably should have picked up that 20. I want enough for a digging game before we leave.
So it would be really pro as if we got hammer right before we needed it. Perhaps, maybe, please. Like in this chest that's coming up. Oh, a mirror! That's pretty fucking handy. Damn, son. Alright, I mean, that helps out the route a lot. Means we can take care of the Dwarven Blacksmith immediately without having to S and Q out like we have in the past couple seeds. But we'll make it through. <laughs> so we have a night. Oops, I forgot to mark that shield as well. What do we got there? Oh, the flute! See, I was just talking about the flute. That was actually a really good time to get it too, since we can mirror out and activate right away. See you in Hellblind. There's crystal number one. Fucking brilliant. All right, fast travel. Here on T. Now, that being the case, then, uh, let's go grab the blacksmith first. That way we can do some other things while we're here. Uh, we can't do peg case since I don't have the hammer. This one time. <laughs> oh boy. I guess technically it's not Karina, not a flute. I don't think it really matters that much. Oops, why did I put it there? That was dumb. I should have moved over a bit. Oh, nice! Actually, that's a really good time to have that, too. Thank you, blacksmiths. Now we can go do digging game. Uh, but before we do that, let's activate the flute. Because I want to kind of swing down along the south shore again. Get hype cave and all that shit. Gonna hurt you. <laughs> Alright, so we've got lots of choices now. I feel like going up to Death Mountain would be the best play right now, but at the same time, we've got a lot of fetch questy garbage we can do, like right away here. So let's just do that. I I'm more I'm more familiar with that route than I am with anything else. Here I come, baby, the hero of the ages. Gonna give Ganon Dork a poke with the sword of the sages. All the angels in heaven singing a hell of a chorus. If I can only find my way out of this goddamn, goddamn forest. <laughs> I love this song so much. Left here. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna feel real silly if this is some trash like arrows. Yeah, awesome, great. Glad I took the time to do that. But the news is we can do most of South Shore, get Hype Cave on the way back, and then probably go up to Death Mountain. Ba da 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 da
Go say hi to old Stumpy. What's he got for us today? Eh? Eh. Really need ten arrows. Cave South the Grove. Bullshit. Unfortunately, we don't have the book. We are illiterate, so we can't check bombos right away. Damn it. Oh, but trash. We have a medallion? Oh, that's right, we got bambos. Oh, but can we do, oh, we can't do, uh... that's right, we can't do swamp just yet because we don't have the hammer. Oh shit, we don't have another bomb for the back of Hype Cave. Hey, any of you wanna one of you fucks wanna drop me a bomb? Eh? How about you, fella? No? I know we can get another bomb, maybe. Man, we've been really slim on bombs here for a while. Understand why. Eh? Farm one up real quick. There we go. <laughs> That's all we needed was a single ass bomb. Here I was thinking how lucky it was just to have the single bomb that we needed to open up Hype Cave. I'm like, oh shit, wait a minute, we need one more. Another bottle, okay. That's not that hype. Candy, eh. Another bottle, wow, alright. Another piece of candy. And a full-on heart container, alright, well. A lot of, a lot of storage and shit in there. Alright, let's uh, get on up to the mountain then. Oh, actually we could have done... Oh, we could have done Batman. Ah, shit. Well, maybe later. Is Hera a crystal? Hera is a crystal. All right. Well, oops. Wait. Get old man. No, that's technically out of logic. Oh, if you even. Fuck you, squirrels. <laughs> Asshole squirrels. Right up in that doorway. Bunch of shits. All right. out of the way right away. I know it's out of sequence a little bit. Eh. Not even worth nothing. Don't make me regret not stopping in by the old man for some health there. Thank you. Dumbass cabbages.
All right, top of spec rock, we got oh the hammer. All right, fucking excellent. Inside we got some bombs. Well, we don't necessarily need those bombs, but we sure as fuck want that hammer. Oh, we don't have a fire source yet, do we? Hmm. That could be a problem for Hera. That could be a big old problem for Hera. Ah, that could be a real big problem for Hera. Whoopsie. Ah, fuck. To get the key and then warp out. <laughs> keep going. Be a bit of a question mark here. Mm, unfortunately, we don't really have enough gear to get the big chest without either doing a bomb jump or falling from above. And my bomb jumps for this one are kind of questionable, so I'm not keen on doing it if we can avoid it. Jesus, many Voldorms going right for me. Not any hearts in these? Oh. Your oops, one of the items. Alright, well, I guess we can try it. We can try it once. Oh, I don't have any bombs! Never mind, I can't try it at all. <laughs> it's rare that I don't have bombs. Oh, there's one. Okay, we can give it one shot. <laughs> I always fuck this up. Like, I always, uh... There we go. That should do it. I think that's enough. Fingers crossed. Oh, nice. Sick. Ah, oh, for bombs. All right. Well, that's the second item. So, good thing basement is not required. Looks like we're doing the hammer strats for Moldorm because fuck doing spins. Ugh, oh, that's something. I always cut that by a pixel. I'm trying to be too fast. I just gotta slow down just a teeny tiny bit. Line it up. Like so. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm going around. Fucking thing. Alright, well, if we can nail this, it'll be crystal number two, and we'll be back in the driver's seat here a little bit. Eh? Eh? Fuck you, Moldorm. Fuck you. God damn it. Fucking serious. Come here. Ass. Oh, come on! You got a magnet in my ass or what? Ugh. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Take two. Come here, you shit. You <laughs> all right. We gotta not die. Do I have a that's all I got is a fucking green potion? Great, awesome. Get your butt over here. Fucking piece of shit. Alright, one more. That's all we need. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you fuck. God damn it. There. Perfect. Yeah! Get some. Shit bag. Alright, this is compass or burrito. Burrito. There's crystal number two. Two crystals before 50 minutes. I like that. It's a really good start.
wasn't the best Moldorn fight. It certainly wasn't. But hey, we only fell once and we didn't take a death, so whatever. Mom's on the island. I'm actually going to do this. Do Spiral Cave first. We'll loop back up and around. We'll open up T-Rock if we can't. Get out of my way, fucker. Open up T-Rock if we can. Then we'll take care of the dark world side of things. Including Hookshot Cave, since we've got the Hookshot. Get out of my way, you fuck. Big old 20. The best. Best to go all that way for 20 ass roots. So I actually learned that it's faster to just go straight up into this cave if you've got the mirror. Then you can just go. Meep, meep. Okay, I was about to say, I better have a bomb. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Twenty. Ah, another sword. Hell yeah. Okay. Is better. What else we got here? The red meringue, piece of candy, busy bams, which is actually. Probably okay at this point. Big old 20 and a fiver. Gosh dang it. Well, the sword alone was probably worth it. That's not okay, good. Uh wait, actually I wanted to take the stairs up. Erp. So I wanna go through the Turtle Rock Warp if we can. Let's see if it's Bombos to open it up. I guess it really doesn't matter since it's a pendant dungeon, so I'm kinda hoping it's not Bombos. Fingers crossed. Okay, good. It's quick. Very good. You know, the longer they can keep me out of T-Rock, the better it's gonna be. For everybody. Ah, boots! Nice! Big old 20. And another piece of candy. My goodness. They're handing out pieces of candy like pieces of candy. <laughs> Alright, and then super bunny chest. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I went into there. Eh, whatever. Ah, fucked it up. That trick isn't the easiest thing in the world, but it's definitely something I should not be failing as often as I do. Oh, 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 man, I almost pushed that right- No! Oh, that was fucking lame. <laughs> oh, that was definitely my fault there. Caught myself the first time. Couldn't do it the second one, though. Free hundo and uh, the single ass arrow. Uh, hmm. What's next? I guess. Oh, now we can do swamp. Swamp and possibly mire, depending on what we need to get into mire.
Oh, that's right, I forgot we had boots. I should have uh, probably done bonk rocks. Oh well. All right, what do we got? Quake. Quack for both, huh? Kind of unfortunate, but hey, ain't gonna complain. That limits my choices a bit in a seed that has been thus far quite open. Visity bams, good time for those. A full on hard container, all right. So we'll check the uh, checkerboard cave while we're over here. But still, having no fire source means desert is out of reach. Uh, oh, please. Alright, good. <laughs> Unless we find a fire source in here. No, oh, just a piece of candy. Or perhaps on desert ledge. Uh, can we get in there? Thank you. Uh, or Agonis Cave, perhaps? I mean, technically speaking, we could clear the items out of desert without fighting Lanmo. Assuming Lanmo doesn't have an item. Ah, well, stole the rest of that old man's life savings. I do not feel bad about it. PSA, if you're gonna swipe somebody's money, best learn not to feel bad about it. The best advice I could give you, other than not stealing people's money, I suppose would be better advice. Let's pop into desert real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky enough and find a fire source right away. Even if we don't, it's probably fine. Oh wow, big key on the torch. Nice. Ounce. Alright, well, assuming that the small key is in the big chest, as it usually likes to be, for some reason. I guess it's nice and roomy in there. Oh, no, it's the burrito this time. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, I forgot a chest. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I'm missing a key. How do? about doing first half desert is doesn't really waste a lot of time if I can't complete the thing since I have to go in the back door anyways that was one item I believe right there's the compass all right so we're still missing one item but now that part is taken care of and we can go on and do swamp and or ice balance both have a sizable number of items on their own. Six and three, respectively. I don't like really full clearing swamp. At least we've got all the gear to do it.
Hmm. Not having the bow kind of sucks. Having a master sword kind of sucks. Big old 20 kind of sucks. But we've got the hook shot, which means we can clear this son of a bitch straight out and do it in a marginally faster way. card yet, so no convenient refill. Remember, don't flood the key, don't flood the key, don't flood the key, there you go, good boy. This hasn't been a very tricksy scene, which I appreciate a lot. <laughs> it was kind of linear at the beginning, then it kind of exploded in options, but now it's been kind of not trolly, which is fine. Which is fine and good. But I have a feeling just saying so now means it's going to jerk me around everywhere. And not in a good way. I did remember to reset the switch, right? Yeah, okay, good. Otherwise, this will be a real short trip. Ah, fire rod, huh? Okay. That is some value. Big old 20, less value, but all right. Can't all be fire rods. So there's our fire source. We can now complete desert. And Skull Woods. Do we need to do Skull Woods? We do, because it's crystal. Excellent. Plus now, ice is uh, much less of a pain in the butt. So we don't need to use Bombos all the time. Do we have the big key? We don't. <laughs> Remembered too late. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? You know what fucking game is this one from? One of the Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages one. Alright, still looking for two items. That is not one of them. Well, Ether, the other worthless medallion, since we need Quack for both of them. Which means that, well, there's still a chance we could get out of here without a double dip. Damn it. Well, there's still a chance because we haven't found the compass yet. 
still a chance that we don't need to go back for the big trust. Although I think at this point we really don't care, right? Really, the only thing we're looking for now is a lamp and a bow. Dead. Whoopsie. Uh, that would be an unfortunate thing to do at this point. Damn it, give me that last cheese puff. Arr! Fucker. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Floating around and give it to me. Nice. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, fuck that hitbox! Oh, god damn it! I. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess we're getting the big chest on the way back in. Stupid fucking hitbox just still existing when he's jumping up? That is some garbage. I was feeling all confident in killing that fucker. He pulls that garbage on me. Son of a. Shit. <laughs> That's all right. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. God damn it. It's the dumbest bullshit. Oh, good. Yeah, it was the compass. Great. Son of a bitch. Oh, that is some dumb bullshit, if ever I've seen some dumb bullshit. And I've seen me some dumb bullshit. The fucking worst right there. Why am I so bad at this game? Ah, well. It's fine. It's fine. I was probably, well, no. If I had gotten that last item off, off Argus, I wouldn't have gone back in for the big chest. Of all the times that the big chest was not an item, that I wanted to get. It had to be this time. Alright, fuck you, Argus. Let's go. Round two. Come get some, idiot. Yeah, come get some, idiot. See, why didn't I do that the first time? Shit ass. Just a piece of candy. Fucking forever. Alright, well, eat shit, Argus. There's Crystal 3. Uh, so I guess we go finish off... Finish off Desert real quick-like, and then go for Ice. And then Skull Woods. Got lots of things we can do. Lots of dungeons we can knock out real quick. Three of them, right in a row, and all three of them are crystal, so we'll be at crystal five by the time we're done with this. Which is super awesome! That's just... Woods, blah, blah. No, it's just Meyer. Never mind. We'll be at Crystal Six after this. Like wondering why my count seems so bad. But we're still missing a bow and a lamp and quake. 
three items to go mode here. I guess. Kind of duffed up the, uh... Ah! Dang it. Duffed up the one cycle. Not in proper position. Eat shit, Lanmo. Uh, all for 50 rupees. What a shit. There's crystal number four. We can toddle on over to ice. Or... Or up to skull. Either one, really, it doesn't matter. They're both the five sixers. Let's do skull first, that's gonna be quicker. So we've already cleared out the front half. get the seat back in the driver's seat here. This is ridiculous. It's a lot of time on that fucking swamp death. Oh, and I didn't get this item that was back here, did I? I fucking... Oh, that's right, because I died right as soon as I stepped out. That was dumb, too. That was a very dumb time loss. Should have been avoided. Oh, there's the second item. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is the wrong, wrong way to go out. Come on. Sick double kill with a single pot. I don't know where you can do that. Fire barn, get away from the door! Shit ass. Fucks together. Torch. Reasonable fight. Suck shit, Mothula. All for the compass. And crystal number five. Boom. Ba 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 ba. 
I should have done Peg Cave before I came in here. Oh well. Okie dokie then. We are going to ice. It's three, possibly three items. Hopefully at least one of is the bow. <laughs> Lamp or quake, one of those two, really. Actually, preferably, uh, preferably not quake. Quake, I want to get last, so we're not tempted to go into T Rock. We're actually going to try a slightly different route through ice here. Uh, actually, wait, what am I doing? Oh, wait, what am I doing? I've got the hook shot. Derp. I torch them all with bombos, but wait. <laughs> I've already got something that'll take care of this problem. Actually, maybe I won't try the different route. This seems like a, a good time not to do that, since I'm not doing this go mode style. We'll do the standard single bomb jump, I think. I mean, that I'll probably always do, because one, I need practice with it. And two, it just looks fucking sick. Yeah, oh, nice. Still still got it. <laughs> Alright, something I wasn't aware of. Oopsie. Let's try that again. Is that if you're. Oopsie. You charge up, and if you're falling, and then you do that, it gets you right at the edge. That's super sick. That's a sick tech that I learned today. <laughs> then once you move away from not falling, then it triggers the spin and you know you're right up, snugged it right against the edge. Very first pixel. It's good tech. Hey, fucker, come on. All right, I'm not gonna do the new route. I'm gonna do the old standard. Oh, uh, please, fire! Ah, oh, fuck this fire bar. Uh, wait just a gosh darn minute here. Ah, fuck. Well, that's fine. I was thinking about doing the new route anyway, but I guess I fucked it up enough where it's now it's not even worth it. But since I have to full clear ice anyways, it probably wouldn't have made any difference. Busy bams! That's uh, looking pretty slim for this. If I'd been able to bomb jump across that like I was trying to fucking. I guess I don't need to do that. That would have put me in that door there. 
This event going down and around for that one chest. I'm actually kind of tempted to try that bomb jump there again, even though I got it once last time and I couldn't even use it. <laughs> That's alright. We'll get practice on that later. Do we have a bug net? We do have a bug net. Well, heck, then we're gonna do it this way. Get some backup fairies while we're here. Try to, anyways. Accidentally eat it. Yeah, there we go. See, they're gonna be the big key. Oh, this has kind of has to be the big key, doesn't it? Oh no, there's Quake. Excellent. Well, kind of shitty actually, since we don't have a lamp. Oh, that is not a great thing to get right away. Fuck. It's the last item. Now we can just go kick the shit out of Cold Stare. worth getting the big... It's one of them's gonna be a small key. Cold Stare probably has a small key. I think. Unless I miscounted items, which I probably didn't. I guess we'll just check it just in case. Just in case I did miscount items. No? Okay, good. Doesn't really waste that much time anyways. So we've only got blue mail, which is fine. We should have enough magic to deal with this fuck. Well, plus I've got a green potion just in case things go super wrong. Nice. Alright. That works. Nice. Oof, that actually got a little dicey. If he had bopped me one more time, that would have been it. Always cutting it close on these boss kills here. So, eat shit, cold stare. It's crystal number six. Now we're hunting for the bow and the fucking lamp. And the silver, somewhere, hopefully. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, let's see. What's the best way to go here? Some overworld stuff we could do. Maybe double chested fairy. That's probably right on the bush, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh, wow. As we didn't eat it there. Um, we can do peg cave. We can do bonk rocks. Pyramid. Even though we can get in. We can get into Mire. I could probably do Mire Dark Rooms if I needed to. I'd rather not. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's, there's a couple tough calls here that I gotta make, but we're gonna look for, we're gonna look for Lamp, I guess. So now we can check Pyramid right away. That'll be three. With three items there. There's three across the north side we can grab. King's Tomb, Bonk Rocks, and Cave North of Graveyard. Peg Cave and Batman. There's another two. Ouch. What's this other one? Oh, Catfish. Catfish and Mimic Cave. Get the fuck out of my way, man. 
Uh, so we're looking at a bunch of one-offs, really. It's really strange that we haven't found Lamp. Like, usually that's a pretty early find. I guess we've been routing in such a way that we didn't need it yet. Unless we get Lamp and Bow side by side. No. Shovel. God damn it. <laughs> well, that routes that in at the very least. there. So what do we do? What do we do? Do we do probably north side? Loop catfish into this? On the outside chance that catfish has something of value. I don't think I've ever had a seed where he did. But hey, first time for everything, right? Since we're already sort of kind of in the neighborhood. Bees. Fuck out of here, bees. <laughs> yeah, fish. Give me the lamp. Or the bow. Oh, red mail. Red mail works too, man. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, I want to do north side dark death mountain. Or not dark death mountain, dark uh, Hyrule here. Dark world. Could use another sword at some point too. I don't want to be doing spin strats again and that'd be fucking blame. Speaking, we can go into T Rock. Not sure how far we'd be able to get without a lamp, though. Uh, let's do this first. Knowing my luck, it'll be Bonk Rocks for Lamp or something. Oh, there's St. Cart. Good refill. I suppose we can technically get up to Mimic Cave, so we should be able to clear out most of T-Rock if we need to. I'd really rather not. Please don't make me do that. So right now it's looking like Spin Strat Silverless Ganon, which sucks. Not just spin strat silverless, spin strat silverless with master sword. Ugh. Hey, there's a good old lamp. That gets us to Mire now. Should we go do Mire? To go do Mire. Maybe the bow will be in Mire. Or maybe the bow and silvers will be in Mire. Oh man, wouldn't that just be a thing? Wouldn't that just be a thing? Power of the Bonk Rocks gives us an ouch. Fuck off, bird. Power of the Bonk Rocks should not be underestimated. I should have done that way sooner. Oh, I guess we shouldn't go for T Rock until after we get a cape or Brian. Gain a Brian. It's for Laser Bridge, huh?
Ouch. All right, so not quite go mode, Meyer. Yeah, it's a real damn big shame we don't have the bow. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I'm really surprised we haven't needed needed it until now. But we definitely do need it for G Tower through all those uh, mimic rooms. I wouldn't say no to half magic either. Just saying. Arrow cap, uh, that's not looking good. I guess there is also the big chest in Thieves Town. Fucking thing we had to leave behind because we didn't have the hammer. Wouldn't that be just the fucking worst to leave the bow hanging in that one? Such as it is, if we do it end up needing to keep diving for the bow. We're definitely clearing out the rest of the overworld before we go up to T Rock. I was just talking about half magic. And if it's not gonna be a, a go mode item, at least it's something with a pretty good amount of use to it. Uh, I don't have the big key yet, do I? Huh. Odd. So I guess just the big key and then we're good to go, quite literally in here. I guess it's gonna have to be in this one. Yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I do have a backup fairy. I was thinking, uh, it would be really bad if I died about now. Plus, there's a couple anti fairy. Ouch! Excuse me. A couple things I can powder just for extra safety. Like this thing. This thing. So, we're either looking at an overworld overworld bullshit thing, or it's a T-Rock bullshit thing. Either way, it's bullshit. It's about what I would expect for a, a rando. Oopsie. Let's try something here. Oh, I fucked it up. Never mind. gonna try to do the whole Samaria burst thing and then rush up so it hits the, the switch so I don't have to go crawl my butt up there but I fucked it up go figure hmm so we do not have really any good ouch any good strats for Vitreus here this is unfortunate we don't have cape or Kane O'Brien or anything like that so we can't do like dash strats or anything like that. We've only got Master Sword, which is gonna 
make this take for fucking ever. We don't have the bow. Ugh. I guess we're just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Whoa, jeez. That still causes four fucking hearts of damage. Well, uh, uh... Or, I'm sorry, three, I guess, huh? Dumb strat. There we go. Uh, so I guess this is, this is our life now. Ouch. Oh, we've got a backup parry. It's not a big deal. Ouch. <laughs> I'd rather not use it if we can avoid it. think being a big bouncing eyeball he'd be pretty weak to something uh, sharp like a sword but hey whatever all right there's crystal seven but we still need to find a bow fetch questy garbage to find yet oh we got that dark room chest too ah <laughs> oh no so many dumb places to check yet and damn. I guess the real big question is, once I find the bow, do I just say fuck it and go? Or... Or do I make an effort to look for the silvers? Because as much as I would like to find the silvers, I also don't want to spend ten minutes doing it. Even though I'd probably offset that ten minutes by not having to do Silverless Ganon. Ugh. What a question. Hey, there's Ice Rod. That thing that I don't really care about. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, crap, shit, fuck. I mean, I guess it's important if Trinex is holding on to something that we absolutely must have, like the bow. But I'm really not enamored of seeing the Ice Rod right now. Town big chest, as shitty as it is to go back for it. It's not, be it's not that I forgot about it, it's just that I couldn't get it the first time I was in here. There's a uh, dark room of escape. Uh, pick cave we gotta check off. And mimic cave, and that's about it. Then it's up to T Rock. Is 
Because if I wanted a second backup fairy, I could have grabbed one there. So depending on how elusive this bow turns out to be, not 100% on being a sub 2 here. Would really rather like a sub 2? But. Eh. <laughs> hey! The other sword is fine. That means no spin strats. Well, unless we have to do silverless, I guess. But hey, I guess that was worth it. I guess it's that. Dark room and escape, huh? We'll go backwards for, I suppose. Or it's T Rock, which is not fun, but it's something. It's the most item dense area we've got left. And, well, the only item dense area. Well, I guess besides that last one in uh, Eastern as well. Gosh, how embarrassing would that be? Although we can't get that without the bow, so never mind. It doesn't matter. It's Armos is holding on to it. Now, if this shithead of a fucking chest is holding the bow, I'm gonna be very mad, because this is the one I tried to do the dark room for without the lamp and I got murdered by a snake or something. I swear I was around the chest, but maybe I just was like a pixel off of it or something. No, it's the burrito. Oh, I should have known that! Oh, fuck me! Oh, that's not gonna help. <laughs> I should have known that was the burrito. That was the only thing we didn't get. Well, okay, then we're relegated to T-Rock. Uh, which at this point could be real bad, because if we get the book, that leads us to two other areas, doesn't it? two tablets, Ether and Bambos. Uh, alternatively, it could be Sahash, Rush, Rush, Rush. Oh, it could be in Pod as well. Fuck. I completely forgot about Pod. Well, we're already up here to T-Rock, so fuck it. I guess we can't really do much in Pod, though, without the bow, so... Shake a shake a roll the dice and play those odds, I guess. Oh, I don't have an empty bottle, huh? Well, let's make it empty then. Oh, nah, well, never mind. Ugh, I hate this so much. Between Pod and fucking T Rock. T Rock, we can full clear. Well, sort of full clear. I guess we can just kind of tank the damage on Laser Bridge if we need to. Otherwise, it's Pod or the last item in um, Eastern, which we need the bow for anyways, so that's probably a no-go. Ah, there's the bow. So, <laughs> I think we get the fuck out and we go Silverless Ganon now. 
or, 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 we uh, hope that silvers show up in G Tower. But all right, place your bets. One through 22 for Big Key. Your guess will definitely be better than mine. I'm certain of it. Well, that could have gone worse in our search for the bow. Like, it was literally the first item in T-Rock, so whatever. So what fucking ever. Doesn't matter. Five. <laughs> CJ guesses 15. <laughs> he tends to guess 15 a lot, doesn't he? Regardless of what game is being played. <laughs> That's really good. Alright, well, against my better judgment, I'm gonna do right side first. Oh, nice. Lined up that jump pretty well. Or that dash, rather. So here's one and two. Small ass key. Another small ass key. We're gonna do right side first. We're gonna skip tile room. Because, you know, I'm a gambling man, apparently. Oop, no. Better rod, please. Damn it. No, stop bonking. God damn it. I guess we'll just wait for it to reset then. So that's what? Up through three, right? Here comes four through seven very shortly. Oh, I didn't choose the hammer. I thought I had Samari. Eat these fucking gibdos. Get out of here, man. No! Fucking. Get the hell out of my face. Fuckos. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Come on. Some oomph into it, for fuck's sake! Thank you. Goodness. Alright, four through seven. Four. Five. Is a piece of candy refill? No. Six. Seven. Hundred rupees. Alright, so right side was kind of a bust. Oh, nice. Alright, that's fully intended. Torch will be seven? No, torch will be eight. So no, no go there. Of course, the one time I don't start with left side is where I get fucking screwed over. It's really coming down out there. We weren't supposed to get any more rain today. I guess not. All right. So what's the what is this now? Like nine through eleven? Nine through twelve? 10? I think number 10 has got it. We'll just grab these for good measure. Maybe we'll get the silvers. Damn it! No silvers. Alright. Maybe silvers will be validation chest. Wouldn't that be something? What was three? Uh, what was three? That is a good ass question. I don't know. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna tank the rest of this. Oh, God damn it! Let's get in the way, huh? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Get off of me. Fucker. Hey, come back here. Little shit. Oh, God. <laughs> there. It's fine. We did it. God. Out of the fucking way. Get oh, bitch. Thank you. For fuck's sake. Ugh. Oh boy. Number three on the left side. That's incorrect. <laughs> Number three on the left side would normally be the torch. Oh my goodness, please. I followed my standard row. Which I didn't. That's my own damn fault, I guess. Because otherwise it would have been, let's see. 
What would it have been if I had not gone all the way through right side? Yeah, it would have been six, I think? Get out of the fucking way, you ass! Oh my god. It's not been a good call. <laughs> Oh, boy. Fuck. Lasers. <laughs> Please. Get out of here, fucking shit skeletons. Oh, can we get out of the spikes, please? Thank you. Actually worked better than expected. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we fucking short hop down. What a bitch. What a shit. There we go. Less problems than usual. too much to the left. Pretty good though. Pretty good cool guy strats. Oh, I hope we're gonna have enough magic for this. I guess I do have a, a green po- god damn it. I do have a green potion. We will probably just end up using it right now anyways. Fucking aim right there. All right. Well, we're still technically looking for silvers, so maybe we'll find it. Maybe. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't want to do silverless cannon, please. I really don't. Why did that fucking conveyor belts? Please do your job. Thank you. Ugh. Oh. Given that we're gonna fucking do Silverless Ganon anyways, I really need this thing. <laughs> and I actually kind of wish I didn't waste that, uh, that green potion. But oh well. Alright, validation chest is our last chance for silvers, please. <laughs> please, please, please. Ah? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, well. Alright, well, Silverless Ganon coming up. I think it's, what, eight spins with Tempered? I think, I hope. I hope it's that few. Depending on how Jerk Wizard the Second goes, we might still wrangle a sub two out of this. It'd be one heck of a fucking. One heck of a fucking walk back here. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, I don't know if that counted as one or three. <laughs> Uh, there's another two. I'm not sure if <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Oh, nice! Fucking sick three cycle. All right. You know what? We'll take that. We'll fucking take that shit. 
I think that first round only counted for two. It's unfortunate because it was a great fucking lineup. All right, let's see. 15 hearts, full magic with half magic in play. Tempered sword. Uh, I think two backup. No, one backup fairy. We'll just have to make it work. We'll have to make it work. And smiling at delicious whole game rackets created just for your incredible insights. Thanks, Cam. Always a bro looking out for everybody. <laughs> Ouch. Ah, these things still do two hearts even with red mail. How dumb is that? Oh, all right, well, phase three, that's fine. That's good enough. Oh. Well, at least he'll, he'll tell us where the silvers are, mostly. Dark Palace. Oh, they were in pod. What a bunch of bullshit. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Nice. Sorry, right, we got it. It's two. Ouch. per cycle here, which sucks. Four. Five. Nope, missed that one. Oh my god, Ganon, please. <laughs> Five. No, that didn't hit him? Fuck you, man. Five. Wait for it. Six. Seven, I think. Eight. Oh, maybe that wasn't eight. Alright, I'm not sure how many fucking spins it takes for this guy. Oh wow, we got the quick one. Nice, got him. Oh, we are still gonna manage a sub two out of this ridiculous. Out of this ridiculous garbage comes a sub two. <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. Fucking whatever. Bam, 158.45. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Ports. All right, whatever. Okay, well, we'll let the credits roll. Go get topped off. And then start up seed at number dose. Be back in a minute.
Okay. It's getting a little sparky outside, so here's hoping we don't lose power. The show must go on. All right, pocket change at MSP. That's good. That's good. But prepare to fast forward. So we can see the important stats and then get started on run number dose tonight. Hey, Paul Bag, how you doing? Good to see you. It was a sub two. It wasn't a great sub two. I've certainly had better. But, uh, getting a sub two with Silverless is uh, not, not bad for me. <laughs> not bad for me. So we'll take it, but we're not gonna be happy about it. More cool guy strats, that's right, man. Well, I tried the cool guy strats of doing the dark room and escape, but I got murdered, so didn't work out. Plus the fucking silvers were in pod, which we didn't go into pod at all, which is weird. Weird for any given run, considering how many items are in there, but it being a pendant dungeon, I was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> they make you go faster like fire on the side of a car. You mean speed holes? Speed holes also make you go faster? Alright, let's see how many dumb deaths I took. There was at least... There was one that was intentional during escape. Front side of escape. I think I took two others that were not intentional. Ooh, that was a big spark. Okay. Woo, that was a good rumble too. I do like thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are sweet, but I'd rather not lose power while we're doing this here. Early flute, early mirror, early sword. I'm pretty sure that's not right. 29 bonks, four deaths. Okay, three of those weren't, weren't intentional. One of them was. I'm pretty sure that collection rate is pretty low too. But whatever. Buck 5845. Sub two, good enough. 